Ninus BreachCast, the world's first identity management app made exclusively for identity experts and product owners, is available in the iOS App Store now. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Nidus Anarchy Series. I'm your host Adam, CIO and co-founder of Nidus. And today I want to talk about why I'm pissed off that just old school mainstream media uses all these stupid bait click headlines and it's just basically saying like they're crying wolf all the time. I'm, I'm f***ing over it. Okay, so case in point, today in our company Slack, uh, a, a few different people started commenting on an article from Fox News about how there's some new Apple hack out there and it's affecting billions of users, all these iPhone users that are out there because their Apple IDs could be compromised. And you're like, holy shit, what kind of crazy hack is this where it's going to affect every iPhone user, like some new zero day, you know, no click exploit out there? No. So here, let me read you. So this is, this is the headline. New cyber attack targets iPhone Apple IDs. Here's how to stay safe. Warning issued for billion plus Apple iPhone users. That sounds crazy. That sounds like, holy crap, you need to pay attention to this. And of course, that's the whole point of it because, you know, they want you to read the article. When you read the article, what they're saying is someone's going around on a mass text campaign and it's a phishing campaign. They're sending a text saying, hey, your iCloud storage is full. Click on this thing. They'll sign in and, you know, fix it. So people click on it. They don't look at the URL. And then they put in their Apple ID credentials. And ta-da, the hackers now have their Apple ID. And then they can go in and steal their stuff. Yes. This is just phishing 101. This isn't fancy. It's not like it's not been around. This isn't some new hack. No one's vulnerable to it in the sense that, like, it's not like the hardware is vulnerable and you need to patch it. This is basically the headline should read. People still fall for phishing texts. Yeah, no sh <laughs> So it's like when you see this stuff, it's like, man, who are they targeting? It's like, are they, I think the only people that even watch like Fox News and CNN and all these like old school mainstream media, I, I, if you look at the commercials, this is my favorite. Uh, the only time I ever really watch TV is when I'm in a hotel traveling and I've been traveling a lot recently. So I got to see a lot of commercials again. The commercials tell you the demographic. They, they scream, this is the person that we think is watching our show. And it's all like about medications for 80-year-olds, life insurance in case you're going to die, family planning. You know? So it's like, man, so I think the only people that watch TV are 60 to 70-year-old and up. And they're just gunning after them, just trying to bait click them with this stupid headline. The problem is, is it's they're just crying wolf with all this stuff, right? Because it's like... You're sitting there just telling people about all this crazy stuff all the time just because you're trying to get views so that you can sell ads. Meanwhile, you're fatiguing everyone out because every time they see something, they keep thinking, oh, there's something or something on. But then when you read it, like, oh, it's nothing. Oh, it's nothing. And now we know. We have a term for it. We bait click, right? We have we have a whole thing with all this clickbait crap. And we still fall for it. <laughs> like, I clicked on the article. Why? Because everyone in my Slack was like, oh, this could be a thing. And I'm like, let me check it out. It's not a thing. <laughs> so it's crazy how much just mainstream spam that's out there right now and i think we need a simple solution for it i i have an idea so whoever wants to do this feel free i'll try to do it maybe in my spare time but someone needs to create a phone <laughs> where there's no advertising allowed if you do that that eliminates all this crap because no longer are people going to be wanting to doom scroll on their phones they're not going to be clicking on stupid headlines anymore because there's no incentive for any company to want to bait you into staying on their platform longer. Because the only reason they want you to stay on their platform longer and keep coming back is so that they can just keep shoving more ads down your throat. If you get rid of all ads and just don't allow them at all, the entire ecosystem changes. Now, the only time they want you on their servers is if it, they're gonna offer you a true value because it's gonna cost them money every time that you look at a website or you watch a video or you're sitting there scrolling. So really, they won't want you to doom scroll anymore. They won't want you to click on every little thing on their website because they're gonna lose money every time they do. So a new model has to happen on the internet and we have to get rid of ads. I don't know how that's gonna happen, but I'm saying someone should make a phone, no ads allowed. I think that'd be a great start. What do you guys think? Nidus has just created the first iOS app made exclusively for identity management professionals. It's called Nidus Breachcast and you can download it now. It's amazing. We have real-time updates of all the latest breaches that are occurring, CVEs as they come out real-time, really pertaining just to identity management, 
We have media that's going on this podcast. We're going to be bringing in a lot more others as well. And we even have a complete vendor list of all the identity management vendors and all their products. So you can find out exactly where to download their software, all the documentation. And what's even more awesome is an identity management glossary. All those crazy words and acronyms that we can never remember, they're all listed in there for you. No ads, just pure information to make your life simple.